Hello and welcome back to the 21 Day Self-Awareness Summit, How to Master Your Inner Conversation. Today we have Ahmed Sabeta, who is someone who does many different trades, like we say in English, the jack of all trades. He'll explain what he does exactly, but I know him through his coaching. He is a trilingual coach for the British Academy of Development and Training in London, among others. Welcome, Ahmed. Thank you. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for accepting this invitation. I'm so excited to interview you today. Why don't you introduce a little bit about you, mysterious person? Yes, of course. Well, uh, thank you, first of all. Um, thanks for having me for this interview. Um, this is, uh, so, um, uh, Ahmed Sveta. I am a trilingual international coach with the uh, British Academy uh, in London. Um, actually, I give training in different courses in innovative problem solving, in strategic alignment, and as well in um, um, uh, public speaking and presentation skills. Um, as well, I work in an aeronautic industry, like Airbus. I work in project management, performance and quality, strategic project management. Um, I, if you want me to give more, I am um, a motivational speaker sometimes in international conference for young talents um, in different um, areas, actually. And um, I work as a freelance consultant for the startups. So, if I've understood correctly, you're an engineer, you're a, a consultant, and you're also a coach and motivational speaker. That's right. And so, I think, I think you're also uh, very young, or younger than me, <laughs> anyway. Tell yes. me, where did all of this come from? Where, how long have you been doing this? Well, let's say it's passion about my, um, uh, about two things, about my ambitions, let's say, which leads me to the, the second part, which is, my my goal to help the human at the end of the day i want to do something with all this energy that i've got i have to say that thank god for all the energy and and the potential that i've got and that's where i feel the responsibility to do something this is the key driver for me to to give more and 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 be involved in so many different things all right so as you know the title of the this summit is self awareness and how to master your inner conversation well, how would you define self-awareness, Ahmed? Well, right, because sometimes even I talk about this topic with, with my trainees or even to people who um, are following me on Facebook on social media, I define self-awareness in two things, actually. Um, first of all is knowing your limits and capabilities. So this is the first thing. Whenever you know um, your limits, your own limits, what you can do and what you cannot, what are what you can do with others and what you should not and of course what are your capabilities to which extent you're strong to which extent you can go beyond your limits so this is the first point and second point is knowing before doing anything you yourself know if it's appropriate to do or not is okay. it do i have the right to do that do i am i touching the borders and the limits of others or not so for me, simply, two points, knowing your capabilities and limits, and second thing, knowing yourself with confidence, what are um, the appropriate things to do and what they are not. Okay, what's the appropriate thing, what is not, and also know your limits. Exactly. What does it become evident for you, this self-awareness? Well, actually, um, mainly it's in, in my, let's say, in my international participation. In, 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 in multinational events, for international events for young talents, where I used to, um, let's put it this way, to have to show more energy and potential. Mm -hmm. Some of them, when I have been talking as a motivational speaker and seeing people coming and um, interacting with the way that I, uh, that I speak and give uh, the, the motivation to them, uh, maybe from um, monitoring sometimes, because I'm a monitor, um, for some master students in international management master here in Toulouse. Yeah. So I have two people each year where I'm monitoring them, guiding them when they're professional, but as well in their academic path. Okay. How would you, how would you say that you manage to turn negative thoughts into positive ones? What's your technique? Well, um, actually, this is a nice question, Sas, because as well, this is part of my videos where I, 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 I publish normally, which is how to, how to defeat 
this negative energy? How to motivate myself when I'm really feeling down? And, and this is a question I, I receive every day from people and young talent, which is sad somehow. Loads of people asking me, how do I motivate myself while I'm feeling down? Or maybe the situation around me is, is so tough. What should I do? How to motivate myself? I mean, I'm having energy, but I have no, I, I, I'm not able to motivate myself. I'm always feeling down and I can't take myself out of this negative energy. So my technique, my personal one, and to do about my personal things, and maybe we uh, talk about what I tell others. Um, first of all, what, what I do, I think about, and this is the main reason behind actually the negative energy SAS. Normally, we as a human, we think about when we are on the problem or when we are on negative energy, we think about what we cannot do. Oh. So that stress us and feels, oh, I'm right, I cannot, I can't start my own business because I don't have money. I don't, I cannot open my company because I'm still young. I cannot do that because I'm old. No. Yeah. The right thing to do is to think about, okay, we know I cannot do this and this and this and this, put it aside and think about what you can do now in this situation, right now, with whatever resources and means you have got, what can I do with this? I've got 10,000 euros. Okay, what can I do with the 10,000? I've got one hour per day. What can I do with the one hour per day? So this is very motivational, actually. And actually, it leads you to be creative and innovative in your business. It's very, very positive, your mindset. Yes. So we always need, and this is what helps as well, Sas. I always think about the good things, the things that I have gifted, the things that I have got today, even even if they are maybe little or maybe not that much in, in my eyes now, but I think how many people out there are, are missing what I have got today, you know? And I say, oh, I'm still all right. Loads of people out there, they're waiting, they're wishing, they're dreaming to have bought what I've, what I've got today. So that motivates me so much. Another funny thing I do, Sas, I look to, I look to my videos and photos from my participation in international things uh, where I have been very successful and I have got loads of positive feedback. That gives me lots of energy saying, hey, look at you. You have done that and you're still able and capable to go forward and forward beyond your limits. So normally this is that some of the techniques that I do. I, I give some people sometimes, you know, some people motivate them to dress up elegantly and go out. I know, I know, um, I know a lady. She she's, she has a huge potential, enormous, and she tells me, I mean, I I applied some of your tips, and the one tip that I love, when I'm feeling down, I just dress up like very very elegant, ah. and I just go out, even if I'm going with myself, I go have a drink, I go have dinner, no. and I'm, I'm feeling well. I have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what advice do you give people? who really haven't yet found themselves, we're still looking, we're not there. What would you... Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a nice question, actually, because we see loads of videos, even on YouTube today, from experts from different divisions. They, I, I think everyone tries to, to have their own way. Or maybe I would say, even if they are trying to have their own way, all of them, they come to, to match each other in somehow. So the roots of what they give, it's almost the same. But I was... Honestly, thinking of something different, when, when, tell, when tell it to people, you will say, oh, I, I, I did hear that before. I need something different. I need something new. So if I want to give advice, and maybe something comes from my character somehow, says, um, because some people say that sometimes uh, who, who do not know me, maybe say, Ahmed, okay, is it arrogance do you have or is it? so much self-confidence okay. and i would say uh, because i know if i want to be honest to myself i have um let's say abnormal self-confidence which more many people i would say they fall down from differentiating it from arrogance somehow so how do you and have normal self-confidence how do we get what you have <laughs> I, I would say if you want me to talk about self-confidence before i give the advice I believe that it comes first of all, those people would have self-confidence. I think, and it's not I think, I strongly believe big part of it comes from it's in their blood. They were born like that. They were okay. really born like that. And I have it. And, and I know that. I, it's in my blood. It's in my blood. But as well, I think self-confidence, it comes from the achievements. 
okay, comes from the achievement, you believe that you have achieved something. It's not that, yeah, it's, it's not showing off. No, you have something, you have physical achievements. You can see it in your um, followers, you can see it in people around you, in your family, in your friends, you see that. And that gives you a um, really sort of confidence, which is not fake, you know? You know what it's not fake. And, and that increases your, your self-confidence. My advice for people who are still looking to find themselves, do this technique, try to do it with yourself. Sit with yourself for two or five minutes. Mm -hmm. And imagine yourself being so arrogant in saying something about yourself. What do I mean by that? Imagine yourself, you want to tell people something about yourself, one of your competence, one of your skills, one of your impressive points. And if you say this to people, they will say, oh, you are so arrogant. Okay. So sit with yourself. And look for this thing inside you, in your competence, in your skills, in your whatever, in your capabilities, what this thing I can do, I believe that I can do. But if I will say to people that I can do this, they'll say, ah, oh, you are out. All right. When you touch this point, try to find yourself around this competence or skill. Some people will say, for example, I give you a for example. I know some people, they have different ones. For example, people tell me, I mean, you have kind of un abnormal way of communication. It's, 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 it's scary how you communicate sometimes. And you should do something about that. But then when I sit with myself, I know that this is not my extreme point. I know that there are many others. I mean, this is one of them. But when I think about it, it's, it's my... It's my driven motivation. It's what inside my blood. So I know that I have a strong character. I know I have strong communication skills. I'm, I'm very motivated. I, I'm, I'm motivating people. I have scary potential. But at the end, all of them, they come from my inner inside, my belief in my, in all my competence. So believing in yourself says is, is self-awareness is maybe it's your, it's your strength. Huh? Your strength, it doesn't have to be um, something physical, which is communication skills or leadership skills. No, it can be believing in yourself. Because imagine why I'm saying that. Imagine there's someone who's, who's very scary in, his, in one competence. Let's say in his presentation skills. He's, he's super expert in that. Yes. But imagine that he's feeling down. It's not easy to. It's not easy for him to take to to use his competence, which is presentation skills, to heal himself, to take himself out from the game. But, but someone else who has this belief in himself, huh, in his what's in his side, he's believing in himself. This person, it's easier for him to take himself or herself out of the negative energy more than the motivational speaker. Yes. Huh? Okay. So, so being aware of yourself doesn't mean that you have to find the physical, the physical competence. No, it can be something believing in your blood, believing in, in a friendship, believing in love. Um, mm -hmm. I need to be loved to find myself. I need to be, to feel that I am useful to humanity, to my family, to my friend. So, you know, don't put borders to your self-confidence. It can be just in front of your eyes, but you're putting it aside. So be open, think with yourself in a very, very, very arrogant way, and you will find it. I love it. <laughs> Interesting technique. Thank you, Ahmed. I <laughs> hope people would use it and find a I will. I hope you guys use it too. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sacrifice to get to where you are today. Well, that's a good question, Seth, uh, because myself, I think about sometimes. Before I say that, I want to say a little story just quickly. Once I was, I was in an event, a networking event where I met, um, actually, she was my first mentor ever. I met a, a woman um, and I was talking to her just like she, she was talking about, about herself forever. And then she asked me to talk about myself. So I took like five minutes and then she said, Ahmed, I want to tell you something. And I said, yes, of course. Her name is Julia. I hope she would watch this video. She said, Ahmed, 
whatever you will be in the future, wherever you will reach, don't ever forget your family and your social life. Mm. And she said it with, with some pain somehow. Okay. And she said, Ahmed, people like you, those leaders, normally they forget about their personal life and their social life and their family, whatever. But this is the only thing I want to advise you for the future. So when I think about it, I'm trying to make a balance, quite honestly, not for the video, but this is what I'm trying to do for myself because I'm a very social person. I love my friends so much. I love to talk to my mom every day. Even oh. if I would say, mom, everything is okay. Yeah, okay, fine. Talk to you tomorrow. Like, you know, <laughs> so I'm trying to balance that. Maybe the only one thing as well, to keep being honest with myself, maybe I miss traveling because I love traveling. I miss okay. traveling a lot, I would say. I, I used to travel a lot and maybe now I'm, I don't have that much a chance, um, especially after growing my, let's say, um, myself on the social media, on Facebook and my website and all that. I don't have that much time to travel, quite honestly, but I tend whenever to go to a conference or something or even business trip to have the weekend for myself as well to extend nice. my mind. Nice. So a bit of time for yourself. That was my last question, in fact, was if there were something, if you could go back and do it all over again, become uh, the amazing person you are all over again, what would you do differently? Is there something you would change? I will, I will tell you that and maybe you will find it strange because you said I'm young well I'm not really young I'm quite a, a little bit young <laughs> which says I would start earlier okay I would start earlier why I'm saying that I've started my online presence in time in in, in this way uh, that I am now I started it only this year and when I have seen to which extent uh, my Facebook page, for example, growing up, which is maybe you know now I have more than uh, I, I'm close to seventy thousand followers only in four months. Crazy, yeah. from all over the world, from different uh, age categories and 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 studies and and profiles. Um, so I I say I could have done I could have started that two years ago. Three years ago, when I started presenting in France in international conference and be, and speaking in front of the world, uh, for in front of prime ministers and ministers and people, and say, oh, I could have done that two, three years ago. There's no regret, of course. There's no regret, but you have asked me the question. I just wanted to 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 be honest and say, no. whenever you have something, and why I say it, maybe because I hope and I'm sure they will have lots of young talents watching watching us now. Whenever you have the idea, start right now. Start it. Don't put it aside. Like when I say start it, you don't have to implement your company now. Mm -hmm. You know, and maybe, I, yes, I want to maybe to start my company. I want to have my own company in the future. I'm not, start, I have the idea. I didn't put it aside, but I started the work already, says. So start working on what you want to do. It doesn't have to be, if it's a company, building the company right now. No. Maybe starting building you as a brand. It, build yourself. Buy, build your network. Uh, build on your competence. Build on your profile. Build on your website. Build on your uh, networking skills. So do something which always will motivate you and take you for the path of what? Of building the big idea, which is whatever. Your startup, your company, your, your uh, website or whatever. Wanna, even if you want to be a YouTuber, start from now. Learn about how to how to um, um, uh, montage a video, how to edit the video. Yeah. Learn about how to set up a studio and all that. It doesn't have. If you want to have an idea, it doesn't have to be starting from big. No, start from the beginning. Do little things, and this is what I say. Sorry if I'm taking your time, but this is one last step I would say. <laughs> when I talk about about motivation and time management, says when you give my trainings, I say always you have to create kind of a daily routine what does that mean it means to create a habit to teach yourself that you do something even if it's a little thing every single day Excellent. you will say oh even if i'm feeling down yes even if you're feeling down do some little thing because some people, and I know many people, and I'm one of them, if I pass one day without achieving something, not even one little thing, I feel very hard. I feel mm -hmm. down. So when you create a habit, a daily routine for yourself, when you're feeling good, 
you will use that and that will automatically help you will help you when you're feeling down why because when you're feeling down you have a habit your mind your your, your character your body is ha- he has a habit to do something during the day so it will not be heavy it will not be heavy on you to do something even if you are feeling down it will be just light and doing it and maybe this routine will help you in the negative time Thank you very much, Ahmed. Um, if you were to give uh, three words to summarize the end of this interview, what would they be? What, what I want to say, three things. First of all, believe in yourself. Believe me. Believing in yourself is your army. Is your army. And I say that always in my videos. Everything is believing in yourself. Maybe you have your love, your ha- your wife, your mom, whatever. But remember that one day, one day, you will be alone in some situation and the only, the only saver for you, the army will be believing in yourself. And believing in, and the belief in yourself will impress you yourself, not only people around you. So believe in yourself, whatever you are, whatever your competence are, believe in yourself, okay? Second thing, start from now. Start. Don't wait. Start. Start straight away. And the third one, what I would say, don't forget about people around you because spreading love, teaching love, and helping the others will always be back. That's very important. Thank you very much, Ahmed Sveta, for your time, for your great, wise words. Where can we find you and what can we find there? Right. So you can follow me on social media, on Twitter, on Facebook, on my page, which is English with this beta. Okay. Uh, my website is asbeta.com. I will provide you, if you follow uh, my page and uh, even website, I'm putting um, very soon, I'm putting an ebook, a PDF. You yeah. will, uh, Seth will provide you with a link. With this, it will help you in, in, you will find tips in motivation, in self-awareness, um, and as well in time management. So I think this is, this is a very interesting book. You will have it for free um, if you will have it. Thank you very much for that free gift. My pleasure. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time. And for the viewers, thank you for listening. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place, to continue some wonderful tips to become self-aware and master that inner com- conversation once. Have a great Thank you so much, Sace. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.